you guys this is victoria and welcome back to femhead today i thought it would be an interesting video to make to talk about if i had to choose a hormonal birth control option i was talking to a friend i guess it was a few weeks back now and she was asking my opinion about like my thought process for going through options out there and which one I would pick and why. And I was like, ooh, this is a fun exercise because since quitting hormonal birth control, I've never been like, if I had to do it all again, what one would I do? Um, so I thought it'd be fun to like, think through that and kind of share my thought process about what I would choose, why I would choose that one, why I wouldn't choose other ones. And I think the thing to say about birth control and hormonal birth control, I mean, birth control as a whole, there are so many different options and what works really well for your best friend might have really bad side effects for you or just not work with your lifestyle or where you're at in life. Certain birth control options carry more of a risk than others and there are pros and cons to each. So even though this is kind of my hypothetical, if I had to choose a birth control, um, I just wanna encourage you to look at all the options, work through the pros and cons of each and how you would fare because certain people react to different synthetic hormones and all that differently. So I think starting off, if I was looking for a long-term option, like I wasn't going to have any kids in the next five to 10 years, or maybe I was done having kids and I wanted to be on a birth control rather than charting my cycles. Obviously like charting my cycle is my number one option. <laughs> and I have a course that takes you through everything you know to get started charting your cycles, whether that is for birth control, to get pregnant or to just learn more about your cycle. I think it's so beneficial to understand what's going on in your body. And I think it does help you make informed decisions. So I'll link that down below. It's always available if you want to. And I'm just had to shout that out. But this is my hypothetical. If I wasn't going to chart and I had to choose a different birth control option, one of them that I'm going to talk about is not technically hormonal. But I think if I was looking for a long-term option, I wasn't looking to have kids anytime soon or I was done having kids, I would look at an IUD. So there are hormonal IUDs and non-hormonal IUDs. IUDs are that little T-shaped device. I'll try to put pictures of things up on the screen as I talk about them. But IUDs, there is non-hormonal and hormonal. The non-hormonal is the copper one. There are obviously pros and cons to each type, whether you go with hormonal or copper and some women fare really well on the copper IUD and other people have like really intense periods and like cramps and that sort of stuff. I would look into those two options. I obviously would lean more towards the copper because that's non-hormonal, but I think if I was like, okay, yeah, I'm seriously considering an IUD, I would really look at each, talk to whoever I'm getting it from about possible side effects of each and like the possible dangers and the pros and cons because there are pros and cons of each. IUD is a bit more of a cost depending on which one you get and it has to be inserted and removed by a medical professional. You don't wanna go mess around with that yourself. From what I understand, the hormonal IUDs just have the synthetic progestin in them. There's no estrogen in those for people that are wary of synthetic estrogens. So there's that one to consider. Okay, I wanna just list off a couple birth control options that I just don't have interest in, but they might be worth checking out for someone else. The implant that goes into your arm, the ring, I think of the new ring, I don't know if there's any other brands. The new ring is the one I know of, the patch and the shot. So if I'm considering having kids in the future, I don't think I would want something that would take a couple months to get out of my system, like the shot is the one that comes to mind. The implant doesn't interest me because something about having that little, like even though it's just a matchstick size, the idea of it like being in there just gives me the creepy crawly, so I don't think I'd consider that one. The implant is just synthetic progestin. The shot is also just synthetic progestin. I didn't even think or consider the patch until I was writing the notes for my video and trying to have all my basis covered of the different options, but that one has both synthetic estrogen and progestin in it. And so I'll get into like why I kind of want, think I would want to avoid estrogen, but I don't think I want something that's combined. The ring is something that you get a new one once a month. I had a few friends on this one in college and they're both no longer on it. Plus the ring has estrogen in it, which I think I'd want to avoid if I was looking for a hormonal birth control option. 
Now, unless I'm missing one, which I probably am, I believe this brings us into the pill category. And the pill is actually the only hormonal birth control I've ever been on. I was on it the duration of college, so from 18 to 22. It was about four years from what I remember. I was on a combination pill. The brand was orthotricycline, so it has both synthetic estrogen and progesterone in it, and it was not for me. I will link my videos of like, why I quit the pill and that whole story because I've shared it before, but it's just, I had quite a few negative side effects and reactions to it. And it's just not something I feel the need to put my body through again. And not just my body, but my mental state. Like my mental state was the biggest final straw when I was just not mentally and emotionally myself anymore. So I know combination pill is not for me, but if you didn't know already, there are different types of pills within the umbrella of the pill. So there are combination pills like the one I was on, which is both synthetic estrogen and progestin. And there are a few different brands within that. But there are also synthetic progestin only pills. And this is also known as the mini pill. This is for women who can't take synthetic estrogen, um, have had bad reactions to other types of birth controls that have the synthetic estrogen in it, or for whatever reason, don't wanna take it. Like, I don't think I would wanna take synthetic estrogen again. If I was wanting a hormonal birth control option and I was looking like, you know, I think I wanna have kids in a couple years, I'm not quite sure, but it's definitely, I don't, I'm not looking for a long-term option like an IUD. I think I would look into the mini pill and that might not work out for me. I might have really bad side effects from that and decide, you know, screw it, this isn't it. I know people who have just like gone through all the different birth control options and none of them really work for them. So in conclusion, in my hypothetical world I'm living in for this video, if I was looking for a long-term option, like I was having done having kids or didn't want kids for several years, I would look into the copper IUD. And if I was looking for more of a short-term option, I would look into the mini pill. That's kind of the conclusion I came to. And it was a fun exercise to kind of work through and be like, what would I actually consider? I've just gotten to a point where I don't need hormonal birth control or you know the copper IUD thanks to charting. But I know not everyone is comfortable with charting or it just doesn't work where they are in their life. I think it's great that there's birth control options. I just wish that more people knew the full range of them and the actual pros and cons to each. When I got on hormonal birth control, I was 18. So that was 11 years ago, <laughs> a while ago. And so I don't remember the exact like interaction. I don't feel like we went through the possible side effects, things to look out for, or like the different pros and cons of different kinds of hormonal birth controls. But I want people to know they have options within the world of hormonal birth control. And if one doesn't work for you, to not just like stick it out. Anyways, that's what I have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this slightly different video. Check out my course down below if you're curious about that. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.